and we are live hi hi everyone good evening happy sunday who's excited who is excited i i I, for one, I'm super excited to have this conversation, especially because of the guests that we will be having today. I see that one person has joined. As you're joining, kindly drop a comment, okay, so I can see you and where you're joining me from. Let me know your name and your location. I want to sound like all these podcasters. Welcome back to uh, the Wholesome Conversations podcast. <laughs> Welcome to Honest, let's say Honest Conversations now. Welcome to the Essence Pre-Conference Conversations. I am super excited that we are doing this. This is the second session of these conversations. We have 15 conversations to go. Uh, we have 15 conversations and we have um, one has already gone on. This is the second one. I see Chinemere Mobuako always here, always on time. She says, I am Chinemere Mobuako and I am joining from Lagos State. Hi. Hi, sis. It's good to have you here. Good evening. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Who else is here? 18 people are joining. Please don't be a lukuluku. Let me know where you're joining me from. Tonight. Somebody say tonight. Somebody say tonight. Oh God, well, well, that's how we say it in Igbo language. It's going to be wonderful. Um, so get ready for an enriching conversation. If you're just joining us for the first time, this is the Essence Conference Pre-Conference Conversations. Okay, that's tautology. This is the Essence Pre-Conference Conversations. Um, we are having a physical conference in Lagos, but we are having these conversations leading up to that day. And I'm excited. You can't even imagine how excited I am to be having these conversations. I have curated um, an amazing lineup of speakers who I have been privileged over the years to witness their genius expressions, you know, their authentic expressions. And I cannot wait to, you know, bring them on one after the other. We had Mr. Raymond last week who came and shared so much from his balls you know, from the from his bowels. <laughs> and the guest I have today, um, she's a lady that I have known for years, like years, and she has been consistent. You know, the people that you meet and the way they, they carry themselves, the way they show up changes. Of course, I am all about um, evolution and transitioning, but while you are transitioning, you don't lose yourself. You don't lose your your authenticity in that transitioning process, right? So this lady has, over the years, continued to evolve, you know, into even better expressions of, of who she is. And I mean, there's no other person that I can be having this conversation today other than her. So if you're excited for tonight's session, let me know in the comments that you're excited. I see some comments here. I'm gonna give you guys a shout out. I see um, Obiedo, Obiedo. Precious. Good evening. Good to have you. You're joining from where? From Lagos State. Awesome. Um, happy Sunday. It's good to have you here again. Gracie Olotu. Good evening. Tonight. Yes. Tell me, Victoria. Good evening. Good to have you here. Udoka. Precious. Good to have you here. Thanks for joining. Oh, new fashion house. Good to have you here. You are Metu Gift. And you're joining from Nigeria. Lagos State to be precise. Good to have you. Jemima says tonight, Udoka Precious, you're joining from where? From Abuja, awesome, awesome. Obiedo Precious says she's excited. Chikemara is excited, I'm excited too. If you have not shared this, um, just copy the link. If you're watching from YouTube, um, copy the link and share with your friends, okay? Share with your enemies, Share with your village people. Share with your exes and your excesses. Everybody needs to know their essence. So what is the essence pre-conference conversation? Actually, what is the essence conversations all about? It is um, a con this, this particular phase of the preparation is all about having conversations with people, individuals who are living their true essence, 
so that you can be inspired also to live your true essence. I am all about authentic expressions. If you've known me for years, you would know that one way or the other, I have championed courses on authenticity. I just remembered now that I had a conference in 2020 that was Know Yourself Conference. And this lady that I'm bringing on today was also a speaker. <laughs> it's amazing because, you know, I look at the things that I do, even though they are no longer the same thing, like on the shallow, um, on the surface, but, uh, you know, at the very core, I'm still all about helping people to express themselves, find their, find their identities and, you know, express themselves authentically. So um, I, I hope and I, I deeply believe that when you hear the stories of others who have gone ahead, um, who, are, who are living in their true essence, you'll be inspired also to live your true essence. And I've curated a couple of questions for our speakers. I'm asking them the same questions. So for all the 15 sessions we'll be having, I'll be asking them the same questions, but I'm sure they'll be giving us different answers because that is what this is all about. How do you see different things? How do we see the same thing? We can all look at um, a cup and we are told to draw that cup. We will not draw the same thing because our, our perspectives differ, our perception you know, differ. So um, I cannot wait to bring on our guest. If you are ready, let me know that you are ready. Somebody say tonight again, no? Say tonight again, no? Have you invited your village people, your yard people, those face me, I face me? Invite all of them, they need to be here. If they don't know their essence, they'll be fighting with you. You know, you'll be fighting over generator, you'll be fighting over, um, who parked car here? Who did not park car here? Who should, who should be, who should park car inside? And who should park car be, uh, beside the gate? It's not necessary. Eh? Invite them. Let them join. Let them join. And before I continue, also I want to say Happy Mothering Sunday to all the mothers who are here. I am so so proud of you and the work you're doing, and how seriously you've taken this ministry of motherhood. I celebrate you. I celebrate you. If you are ready for me to bring on our guest, please give me um, your fire emoji. Okay, 51 people have joined us. Please go and wake those neighbors up. If you are in the pre-conference group, go and make a noise. I was supposed to open the group so we can have conversations. Tosin, if you're watching, kindly open the group so that they can, you know, um, go and wake others up. <laughs> But if you are here, I want to say a very big thank you to you for joining us. I will be reading our speaker's bio right now. It is a lengthy bio, which is befitting of her status, but I'll be making it shorter. Okay? Who is Ella Obans? Who is Ella Obans? Ella Obans, officially known as Ogochuku B. Obamude, is a multiple award-winning author who has published five of her books. She is a dedicated lover of humanity, a purpose discovery and self-actualization coach with nearly half a decade experience. Half a decade. Did you hear that? She is the innovative founder of the illustrious Academy of Our Time, popularly known as Vita W. By the way, I was a student of Vita W in 2020. Yes, I went through her writing class. Yeah, a platform where individuals are taught how to discover themselves and their dominant potentials, launch their ideas and communicate their thoughts as a solution to the world through creative writing and effective public speaking in order to live a fulfilled life. This is very much what she's doing, right? Um, she understands human relationship and behavioral management so much that it has made it easier for her to blend in most vital to blend in most vital sectors to coach and render services to organizations, schools, communities, politicians, celebrities, dozens of entrepreneurs, CEOs, and young professionals in various fields of career and professions all across the countries, like the US, the UK, Canada, France. Uganda, Hong Kong. I, I can't see fire emojis here. What's going on? Do you hear Bayou? 
I'll start afresh. I'll start from the first uh, country. The US, the UK, Canada, France, Uganda, Hong Kong, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Benin Republic, Nigeria, ETC, ETC. Ella has, Ella has an affiliate publishing firm which has helped almost half a hundred authors publish and print their books, both hard copy and soft copies, and on online stores like Amazon. I could go on and on and on. A couple of her books are Be the CEO of Your Emotions, Purpose Discovery, Self-Discovery Workbook, Ideation, The Art of True Friendship. These books are amazing, like amazing. Ella is fondly called, um, Ella has fondly called, is a source of impact to people around her, online and offline. I totally agree. She's an annual, she's the host of the annual conference for young people in Africa called the 360 Youth Conference a conference where she converges young people to help them figure out every aspect of their lives with the aid of other knowledgeable speakers. I could go on and on and on. Aside from, aside Ella being, a, being so king at seven humanity, she's an excellent communication strategist. Somebody say fire. <laughs> My goodness, she is one lady that I know who lives what she preaches. Yes, I know a couple of them, but I've known Ella up close and I can tell you that whatsoever she teaches online is what she lives. Like when she wrote the book, Be the CEO of Your Emotions, I said, nobody else could have written this better than you. Like she's so attuned with her emotions and she so manages it so well. I'm like, ah, you are goals, Ella. <laughs> I want to be like you when I grow up. Ladies and gentlemen, with a clapping ovation, if you're if you're sitting where you are, just stand up. Huh? With a clapping ovation, help me welcome our guest for tonight, Ella Obans. If I can't, if I don't see your fire emojis, I will not bring her on. Let me see your fire emojis. Let me see your fire emojis. Burn this place down. Burn that comment section down. Let's go. Let us go. <laughs> Let us go. There she is. <sighs> Good evening, my lady. <laughs> Your mic is muted. Could you please unmute? Hey. Yes. Thank you so much. I was going to clap also for the Ella. The, the introduction <laughs> it took, a, it took a different turn. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so yeah. so much for being so true to yourself, for being so attuned to your essence. Like I'm such a big admirer of yours. I may not say that often, but every time I see you, you know, show up the way that you do, I'm like, this lady, she has she has been there, she has been it, you know, over the years. And I so so um I'm honored to be your friend, to know you up close, to to experience life with you. Well, okay. In the way that we do. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, it's good you can find that before. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, ladies Thank and gentlemen, you. before I Thank begin you. to ask our guest the questions that I have for her, take the link if you're on Facebook share this video if you are on instagram okay not on instagram if you are on youtube copy the link and share chicken mara you know it you know how to burn the place down only oh, fashion house exactly that's how we do it burn that place down burn it down you know um hello my lady it's good to have you here thank you for agreeing to do this with me i am deeply honored to have you my pleasure thank you so much she has a favor. Thank you. I'm so happy. You can even you can sense that from my voice. Like I was there. This part of the introduction, I, I just felt like okay, let me sit back, let them finish. <laughs> thank you so much. That was really beautiful. And um, thank you for pre-conference essence pre-conference conversation. It has been beautiful listening to um raymond to an extent well done for the good works you are doing and for pushing 
as big as this because this is a very very big vision we are driving god bless you and well done it's such an honor to be here this evening i count it a privilege and thank you so much for having me please those born born in the comment section please take <laughs> it so we have <laughs> we'll have somewhere to stay. <laughs> Everywhere you got fire. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I see you all. Kemara, I see you. Well done. Thank you, Toby. Thank you so much. Uh let's let's have a wonderful evening together. Let's Thank do you. It. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. All right, my lady, the first question that I have for you is, like I said, when I was introducing you, I have known you for years now and um, you have been, somebody is still burning the place down. Please continue. And <laughs> you have been um, very consistent, you know, with who you are and how you express yourself, you know. Let me come closer so that they can hear me vividly. <laughs> We clear. can hear you. <laughs> um, so this is the SS Pre Conference session, conversation. I'd like to know, yeah. in your own words, what does essence mean to you? What does the word essence mean to you? Right. Thank you so much. Um, essence, once I hear the word essence, what comes to my mind is why. Why? And wow. most times, um, yes, why? So instead of just answering why, why am I here? Why, why do I need this kind of people in my life? Who do I need to sell? Where do I need to go? Where should I go and all of that? I always go back to who. So ask myself, who are you? When, when I hear the word essence, before I answer the question of why, I go for the who. Who, who are you? um who do you need to serve who do you need um in your circle who do you need to lay off mm -hmm. who do you need to connect with who do you need to um like bring closer and carry along with you so in in answering that question it goes down to the world and it has a lot to do with this conference which is authenticity like the essence why am i here why am I doing what I'm doing? The, answering this question gives me a lot of, let me say, a sense of balance and a sense of um, understanding of who I am. Because it's when I know who I am, I can be able to even answer the word of why, which is the yeah. essence, the reason. Why do I want to do what I'm doing? Why am I doing it? Why should I even do it? Who should I do it for? And where should I even go to find them? So the word essence, where it means to me, it means identity for me. It means why am I here? It means why why do I need to serve people I'm serving? So that's my own personal definition of essence. Essence. Oh, that's amazing. Um, before you answer the question of why, you answer the question of who. Um, I strongly believe. The guest that we had um, last week shared a, a, that's why I love these conversations. And I cannot wait for the different perspectives we'll be having from, that we'll be getting from our different guests. So he was like that to him, essence means um, core, foundation, fundamentals, you know. And it's beautiful to see, okay, that's his own understanding of essence. And to you, it means your why. What is the reason you're doing this? Who are you? But before you answer that question of why, you answer the question of who are you? What is your identity? You know, who are you to even want this? Who are you to deserve this? Who are you to desire this? Who are you to want to start this? You know, um, that's really beautiful, my lady. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Um, another question I have is, have you always lived in your essence? If yes, I'd really love to know your, your background story, your childhood story. If no, I'd really love to know when you, you, you know, when you started living in your essence, when you knew, okay, 
I don't think the path I'm taking is a path of authenticity. This is the path for me. So have you always lived authentically? Have you always lived true to your essence? Or have you, or, or were you at some point not living that and then you decided to take a different route to, you know, the expressions of you that we see, that we see or experience and witness right now? Wow. Well, I would, I, I can't say I have always, but I would say that I got this cool, like I got a better understanding of who I am and what I want to do with my life very early. And all thanks to my mom, because there were situations surrounding my life at the time that could pose as a threat. I could have come off as a very insecure child that probably would be rebellious. But mm -hmm. my mom always, she always had this word in her mouth. And as far as, as much as I was very young before she left this planet Earth, I, I, can, still, like, I can still remember what the scenario of her saying, like, for you to know how much she immersed the word inside of me. She always said, you are a very, very distinguished child of mine. You're not a mistake because there were situations surrounding my life. I wasn't born out of wedlock. My parents were there. I wasn't born in, let me say, in hardship or something of that sort. But my parents were not expecting me. Let's use that word. Like so many people call it born by mistake. So there were so many things. <laughs> <laughs> so they were done making me. Um, I, came, I came by. So a lot of things were not adding up and all of that. But for every sickness I went through, for all of the things people were saying, when people see her, they like, oh, you went and gave birth to another child after having nine children. You know, all of those words should be like, this is the world changer. This is the child mm. that will make, make people hear my my voice. People will hear my name. Like, she said it in my dialect, which is Igbo. Like, she said it so confidently. She said it with a smile in her face. It, like, let me say, this excitement, she backs in the euphoria, like, as though it's already happening. And I was young as five, four, six. So, growing up, I just grew up with that mindset that, okay, this is who I am. If, I, if, if, if what I'm doing, if I'm not in the category of people that make the rules, that change the world, then I'm not where I'm supposed to be. There was nobody putting that pressure on me. Like, nobody was telling me, oh, you have to be here, you have to do this, you have to do that. Yes, there were times when my dad wanted me to study a course that I wasn't really inclined to, I didn't like. But the, the pressure was not so much that is a do or die affair. I've always known that it has to be me doing something to change someone else's life. It doesn't matter if it's one person. So that was my own background story. That's where the whole confidence came by. And even in my family, they always see me as that daring person, that person that will go and get that thing that everybody feels like is impossible. And I would say God has it has a hand in it and my mom played a very major role and I, I i can't entirely say my my love language is word of affirmation but i found myself in the circle of people who use that a lot my dad always knew how to play with words he can say all manner of good words to you one day jemba all manner of words that will make you feel like the only child in the world so mm -hmm. all of those things i because i i kind of suddenly find myself liking it i always want to do something like push myself do more for myself get more things done so that i can end that crisis like it, yes. it shouldn't come to the court. yes something of that sort so there were times there were stage of my life where i was it seems i was losing that authenticity that desire to stay in my skin like do my thing regardless of what anyone is saying and it's usually at the transitioning stage from choosing a career path everyone was just suggesting based on my charisma and whatnot but deep down i know what i want to do like i i can i i can almost say it's like i didn't want to be a doctor I, I always say I may finally find myself treating people and whatnot, but it was not my personal. All my mates were aspiring to be doctors, lawyers, and what, but I was not yeah. interested in all those professional careers. So, but 
people around me were like, you have the charisma, you can do it, you're so smart and all of that. So it, it, it kind of puts me in the pedestrian where I began to lose myself. I found myself in chaos. I began to wonder, am I really sure? Is that really me trying to do things because of the moment? Am I really considering my future? Is it, is there me that is conscious of my and aware of my actions and my decisions? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. When I grew, like, let me say two years, three years into the career path I chose, I realized that I was actually right about myself. Like, regardless of all of those things, those people were suggestion, suggesting for me, they were good in human light, but mm -hmm. for me, they were good enough for me to stay in that part. So I told myself that, okay, I will just stay where I will blossom. And if I have enough time, I could try those parts that people would want to see me in. They would love to uh, have me in. I am not doing it for them. I just felt okay because I love to explore. Let me just try out that part as well. But it's not like I'm doing it for them. Like I'm very, very okay answering a writer. I introduce myself as a writer. And it doesn't matter what stage I am in. It's very, very okay for me. And I feel that's my authentic self. That is my authentic color, regardless of every other thing I do. I'm I, I'm not sure if I finished the question, but you can actually be great if I didn't get it. <laughs> oh, you did. You did. So you, you didn't, you have not always been um living in your essence but you started early that is what i got and yes. isn't it beautiful that you have people who affirm you i think we don't really pay much attention to uh, to affirmations you know because if if we had more parents who affirmed their children from a very young age they are going to grow up to be people adults who are so confident in their essence who are yes. so aware and are so bold to show up authentically. You know, my son, yes. I always talk about him. It's Mothering Sunday. Permit me. Um, <laughs> he came back from school one day. I wrote about it on Facebook. He came back from school one day. Well, not one day. Um, I came back from school and we we're talking because I always have time for him. Asked him, Jojo, do you have anything to tell me? He said, yes. I said, okay, talk to me. He said, mommy. I said, yes. He said, mommy, Mrs. So-so -so person does not like me. Hmm. Ah. Why do you think he, she doesn't like you? She said she's going oh. to beat me one day. She's always <laughs> saying that she's going to beat me one day. That she's, going to, she's going to injure me one day. As well, she said she's going to injure you. Say, I don't know. She's always saying that. And he was happy while we were talking before that particular part of the conversation, you know, ensued. And I saw the shift in his countenance. I saw that he was really hurt by the fact that this person does not like him. And I didn't want it to um, linger. Continue. So I held him. I told him, do I love you? He said, yes. Does your daddy love you? He said, yes. Does God love you? He said, yes. He said, then it doesn't matter what anybody says. Doesn't matter whether your yes. auntie or teacher loves you or not, your mommy loves you, your daddy loves you, God loves you, and it doesn't matter what anybody says. He smiled like he smiled so <laughs> widely. You know, his countenance is lifted, he he was happy again. And it dawned on me that this is how low self-esteem starts. This is how children grow to reduce who they are in order to accommodate what society wants from them. It's not like they are doing yeah. wrong. It's just that maybe their energy is so much for whoever is in charge of, you know, taking care of them at that moment. And so they grow up to taper down what they are capable of, you know. Imagine my son being so hyperactive, being all over the place, and then all of a sudden he's now calm and quiet. No, something went wrong somewhere that I did not know. And I don't want to fail in that responsibility. I always want to be in the know because it is, it is important to me to raise a child that is confident and cautious at the same time, you know. Um, and yeah, um, as, 
as it's going now, I think I'm doing a great job. Yeah, I dare to give myself that credit. I think I'm doing a great job. Because, you know, he's so confident, he's so bold, he's and he's so respectful that even when he's asking you questions that you are uncomfortable answering, you cannot say no because of the way he's asking that question or the way he's making that request. You know, that is his essence. You know, he understands that, okay, um, this is me. And his curiosity is not to be questioned. He should be allowed to explore. So all these things start from, I had to take this route because you shared your story of how your father has always affirmed you, how your mother started the work, you know, and how it has helped you even as an adult. So if you're watching me here, um, you are, you are, whether you're a mother already, whether you're a parent, whether you are not a parent, I, and if you desire to be a parent someday, you have to start working on this, you know. Parenting is a very sure. conscious and intentional journey, and you want to make sure that your children get started on the right footing. I'm not a perfect parent, but I try. You know, thank you so much for sharing your story, my lady. <laughs> so uh, the third question that I have for you is, um, how do you balance the need for authenticity with the expectations and demands of the digital space and your industry? So social media is, is an interesting place, a very, very interesting place that if you don't define yourself, they will define yourself for you. If you don't yes. have an identity, you'll be given an identity, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then, not like it is so, it is such a, uh, an upfront thing, a very obvious thing. You think you are be, you are admiring somebody, even those who are well-meaning, who are watching intentional people living out their essence, they'll get to a point where they'll see they won't even realize it, but they are just living the life of the other person that they are, in, in, in quotes, yes. being inspired by. So when people say, uh, I want to, I, I, I'm inspired by you. What I normally hear is I want to be like you. So mm -hmm. how do you in your own space, because I, I see that you follow a lot of people. By the way, because we both follow each other on Instagram, before I see a video, I've seen that you have liked it. Like, hey, this is always <laughs> waiting for me. <laughs> so the fact that you see all these people, you are inspired by what they do, and you still stay rooted in your essence, I think it is something that requires um, deep thoughts. So share with us, how are you able to maintain that essence? How, do, how are you able to maintain that authenticity in your industry and on social media where everybody is trying to you know be like the influencers or the role models or the papas and the mamas thank you so much <clears throat> um i would use the word contentment and i can i can i can still trace back to a stage of my life where i was an impatient person i want things i want it now now and all that but I can't, I can't fix a number to what age it was, but I realized that my life became a lot easier. I began to flow with a lot of ease, and it is looking for awareness and okay with my own. When I attained, when I understood content and started practicing it, and my own had a role in this because I'm not self-made. I always see it as much as books help me, um, videos and all of that. I'm not self-made at all. My aunt and my sister played a very vital role in this aspect because back then we were not buoyant, like so buoyant and all. And we dare not know anything from people. And this is different from asking for help. You dare not, it doesn't matter what you ate in the house, no matter how starving you are, like how hungry you are, you dare not collect food from people. I mean, begging them for food, going to tell them, oh, I've been starving all my, no. Like, no matter how little we have, we, we, we used it, we enjoyed it, we ate it as though it is the, the like we had bountifully, like we had a lot. And when we come out, 
we mingle, we connect, we relate with every other person we meet out there as though we ate the best of the meal or we had the best of the clothes. Like I can remember a before we had to leave our Christmas So and then I had friends who were who came from a better family who their parents were giving everything they need. But for every time I collect anything to bring to the house, my sister and my aunt would collect it and throw it away. Wow. I was feeling that, yes, I was thinking they're very wicked, they're not kind and all of that. But growing up, I understood what that did to me. Because it does not matter how good you are. It does not matter how wealthy someone is. I don't care. I will, I will celebrate the best thing. I will rejoice with them, but it does not move me in any way. It doesn't make me want, want what you have. I strongly believe mm -hmm. that I'm made for an increase for um, wealth. So I really believe I'm heading there. So you are in your season. You, you are blossoming. I am also developing my roots. So well done. Your blossoming season is so beautiful. I love it, but I don't want it. Because my roots is still developing. I can't even fathom what my blossoming season will be. It might be far greater than yours. It might be far less than yours. But I, I believe that whatever it eventually becomes, that is what I'm deserving of. And that is what I have capacity to manage. So mm. I don't want anyone. Please say it again. Yes. Say it again. <laughs> I said, <laughs> no matter uh, how much you have, I don't want it because whatever I eventually have, uh, based on the route I'm developing now, is what I deserve and what I have capacity to manage. So desiring someone else's um, life is me asking for something I probably will not be able to manage. So I don't yes. want it. Yes. This has played yes. out in several occasions. There are people who do things. There are things they will do. I'll be like, even in my next life, I can't do this. And I realize that this is what they do to sustain that kind of life they have. I don't want it. I don't want to be that person. So I love people. I admire people. I, they inspire me to, okay, keep on with my own. If they're able to blossom, that means my roots will all, uh, always um find shape and as well will blossom in my season it just inspires me okay keep on what you are doing is going to always come out good but i don't want what they have so i would say in the social media easier for me to maintain authenticity and be my lane on the base of content and it's not an easy place to do sometimes but sometimes we feel like maybe i'm not doing enough maybe um maybe i'm not praying enough maybe People are not seeing me. Sometimes you even hear people say, okay, maybe I'm not beautiful enough. Maybe I'm not fair enough. Maybe I need to um, brighten my skin so that I will look like him as a favor so that people will start seeing me. But it's not true. It's not true. We are we are wearing differently. And that is what really has worked for me in the human space. I encourage people to find me. So I also tell people when they come to me, and they begin to tell me, oh, I my life is stagnated. So we ask me, do you feel my life is stagnated? <laughs> I'll be like, how am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, if you feel you are stagnated, it means you need to do more for yourself, not for other people, not to please other people, not to be like me. Don't even try mm -hmm. to be like me. So right. in social media, uh, the only reason why we are beginning to have a lot of people who are disinterested who are depressed is people have forgotten their roots where they had contentment where you will still see your friends going to school and not going and you're happy walking out walking out your way people forgot that they didn't finish school together you, you got you got in together you didn't finish together you you probably yes. are able you are pro you probably are able but you didn't come in in the same month Mm -hmm. so you didn't come in the same year you're forgetting that your fingerprint is different your face yes. um, your face positioning is also different a lot of things about you and the other person is different that should also always inform us and that has always informed me that 
we are different like we do not suppose we are we are never meant to have the same result even mm. though we are doing the same thing so on the mm. digital space that has contentment has been my my watchword it has always helped me stay there and mm. one thing there is a thin line between contentment and mediocrity and most people are uh, i'm mistaking the two this table that you want to shake ma this table that you want to shake <laughs> <laughs> yes there, there is a difference between contentment and mediocrity contentment is understanding that that the fact that i'm here does not mean this is all i can become there is more mm -hmm. to me and i'm going to get there the yes. mediocrity this is me oh i cannot keep myself around away this is how i am this is how i was made nobody should bother me i bear the mark of christ there on me or whatever that is mediocrity that is you demeaning yourself you don't even know your true essence you don't know who yes. you are you don't even yes. know your why because when yes. you understand your essence in life when you understand who truly you have been made to be you always mm -hmm. try to do better not better than anybody but better than yourself better than the person you were yesterday better than the person yes. you were in the last month better than the person you were last year and that is how to measure your own growth not based on another person's template so never ever mistake mediocrity for contentment so if you're not making progress you're not desiring to make progress you are inside that room called mediocrity but if you are desiring to make progress you, even if it's slow you are progressing and you are not envious of another person's achievement it only inspires mm -hmm. you that it's possible it is attainable you can actually get to that place you desire then you have contentment. You're not envious, you're not feeling bad because you're not getting what they have or your own is not happening fast and whatnot. Then you have contentment. Ooh, wow. Wow. Um, I think you just summarized everything because contentment is an understanding of what you have your capacity and continuously while knowing what you currently have you're continuously expanding your capacity you know at every point in time this is this is your capacity for now um and then you keep increasing it and keep increasing it but you are not killing yourself over someone else's results, over someone else's growth process. Yes. You are content. You, you actually do embody contentment because I have seen you over time. And it takes a level of, just like you said, contentment and discipline to, to know, okay, what you are doing is an expression of your own genius. And the results you're commanding is are the results that you have the capacity to manage i took that part i think that's what i'm that's all i'm taking from this mm -hmm. that the results that people have are the results that they have the capacity to manage and if i can continue to build my own roots i'll be able to have the results that i have been able to build enough roots to manage it's like wanting to grow a sky, skyscraper to to grow as an iroko tree and you have the root of a bitter leaf tree or a, a bitter leaf plant not even tree but you want the results of an iroko tree you'll be shooting yourself in the foot you know but yes. if you take your time to understand what you have and the good thing is that even if you are a bitter leaf plant because we are human we are capable of even reinvention you know we're capable yes. of being anything actually Mm -hmm. and so you don't lose yourself in the process of oh i'm getting inspired i'm doing this i'm doing that and you just love who you are who you are becoming and just trusting the process thank you so much for that my sister since oluchi is here thank you for being here she says when you understand your essence you always try to do better not better than anyone else but better than you currently are absolutely 
Absolutely. Um, Thank you. One next just says, I really love this clarity, contentment, and mediocrity. Yes, that's what you get from Ella. She's so, so clear about, you know, these terms. Um, Obia do Pressure says, this is just wow, contentment. Yes. You're not killing yourself over someone else's results. Absolutely. The more capacity, the more results one commands. More or moms. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. This shows that, you know, you, you are following. Thank you. If you have not shared this, I don't know how you want your village people to live in their own essence. You see, <laughs> at this point, we don't have enemies at this point because, you know, what is the point of, what's, what's the reason for having enemies when we are not even going to the same place? You know, mm -hmm. it's a waste of emotion and waste of oh, what would I say? A waste of energy. Yes, your mental energy. You can use it. You can direct it to something else. I don't, I was telling someone yesterday. I don't even have the capacity to hate. Okay, today I was like, oh, what will make you hate somebody? I said, at this point, I don't even have the capacity to hate because hate <laughs> hating someone takes a lot. Like, it is it not psychology that says that you? you you use more muscles to frown than you than when you smile. So why am I yes. stressing myself like this? Ah, you're giving, oh. them, you're giving them room in your mind without them paying rent. <laughs> <As in. laughs> that is not a wise decision if you ask me. You know. Yes. Um, what? When do you feel most connected to your essence? Well, <laughs> I don't want to sound religious, but I would say it because that's my reality. When I'm connected to God, I mm. feel so connected to my essence when I'm connected to God. And I know what it feels like to be disconnected from God. So that's why I'm able to know that this is what happens when I stay connected. Um, there might not have been a very visible place where I disconnected from God, but for myself, I know that place in my life or that stage in my life, that phase in my life where something of that sort happened. And just like an electricity moving in the wire and they, there was an opening where the wire had to collide with an external body and there was spark and chaos all over the place. That was what it was like for me. Everything was flowing. I felt disconnected. Just a little cause, a little distraction, a little, and everything went. I mean, really, yeah, it felt, it felt like my life is in big chaos. Like, everybody needs to run. If, if it's a fire, I'll be like, fire service needs to come and quench it. <laughs> so, I, I feel most connected to my essence when I feel connected to God because essence is a lot embeds a lot in the why and who and all of this information and details about my journey and my existence I, I i kind of greeted it from god's word and from the being god so if you're not a christian this is not me preaching to you but this is my reality this is my answer i don't know about you i don't know what you feel most connected but that is when i'm with you and it's not just about praying and studying the Bible and going to church. For me, when I'm connected to God, it's easier for me to know who to help, what to help the person with. Let's say someone comes to me and be like, my life is going down the drain. I don't know what to do. If I'm not connected to God, I will start giving you perspire to aspire and whatever, maguire. I was like giving you motivational thoughts. And this is something you can find on YouTube. These are things you can find on Instagram. You can find some books. But when I'm connected to God, I'm able to give you a counsel that is peculiar to your situation that will solve your problem. So beyond counseling part, I have seen myself teach a single topic in diverse ways. And sometimes I am marveled, like, how do I even come up with this concept? I listen to myself a lot. As if there's anyone I listen to a lot in this life, is myself. Any session mm -hmm. I finish, <laughs> so far there is a, a recorded um, part of it. I'm going to hear myself. I know my yeah. mistakes. Okay. Sometimes I'm intrigued by my words. I'll be like, I never knew this thing can actually come in in that guy. 
And whenever I was soaking the paparazzi or being intelligent, I remember that, oh, God was in the scene, like he was there. This was yeah. not my thought. I, I didn't give the, the boil of knowledge. This was God's word to his people. And I had to get blessed by my own. So mm. I feel a lot connected to my essence when I'm connected to God. It helps me fulfill my purpose better. It, it reinforces me of who I am, what I can achieve, and the people I need in my life, and how to stay connected with each and every one of them. So God. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, for those who are religious, you said you don't want to sound religious, but I mean, there is no apology for the beliefs that keep you going, you know. Yes. If, yes. if, if, if we're Muslim, this is what helps them to live a sane life, okay? If it is for a non-Christian or a Christian, whatever it is that helps you remain sane and live a life that is satisfying to you, you don't have to apologize for it or yes. turn it down to make other people comfortable. Nah, you're living your truth. When they want to talk about them also, you give them the room to talk about their truths. You know, I, I, I believe that's why we are all here because we yes. are all not the same. Your essence is different from my essence. The things that drive you are different from what drive me. So I used to tell people, live authentically be unapologetic about your authentic expression but also make room for the authentic expressions of others to get because we want yeah. to be giving the room to talk and you know show off but when another person wants to show off you're like nah. they're doing that too much, much. <laughs> they're doing too much really really you know thank you so much for sharing that i think that's also part of what i shared in my book who are you really you know thank you so i have uh, a couple more questions to ask but we're already 51 minutes in now 52 minutes in um i'm going to ask just just three more questions okay so um what do you think is the prize and reward for authenticity since the theology before we continue since theology said something here that i want to highlight she says we get angry when people pick our brains for free, but we feel it's okay to let people live in our heads rent free through hate. That is so laughable. <laughs> so laughable. Yeah, really. <laughs> you want to pick my brain for free, yeah. you're angry, but then I, I hate you so much that you can't even, the thought of you doesn't even allow me to do other things. Like, which one is more costly and which one is even yeah. more foolish to allow? <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Cynthia. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There's so no good. apology for the belief that keeps you going. Absolutely. Absolutely. No apologies for the beliefs that keep you going. Gods make room for the authenticity of others. Absolutely. So let me know, my lady. Um, what do you think is the price for authenticity? And what do you think is the reward for authenticity? Like the price, I mean, is what you stand to lose if you are inauthentic. And the rewards are the benefits that you gain for being authentic. Thank you so much. So I I want to thank those in the comment section. Thank you so much for engaging. Um, yes. the, I will start with the reward. The reward is to have the life you always dreamt of. Like you only had it in your imagination. The reward of authenticity is that you have that life you had in your imagination being your reality. However, the price, it will cost you. I mean, a young man once said, growth will cost you, not growing also will cost you. So being authentic would cost you, not being authentic, it will still cost you. So choose your cost wisely. Wow. So to say, yes. <laughs> To say that the day you want to be authentic, it will cost you because let me just paint this scenario. Um, if you are in a situation where, um, what I'm trying to do now, you're in a situation where 
you have to behave like China. Let's say I'm a very, very quiet person. I am to a very quick, a certain degree. So yeah, and China is a very lively person. She's so I'm just giving instance here. Probably but none I'm of not. this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And maybe this is who she is, and this is who I am. I mean, let me not even go for me. Every day I decide I want to do paparazzi and be very lively. That day I will have headache and it will take me two to three days to come back to my normal self. <laughs> and I kid, I kid you not. I kid you not. You know, that is my reality. Any day you see me hugging people, shaking people. Oh, it's been long we've seen you. That thing is not me. And when I get to <laughs> so imagine me. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine me living every day of my life that way. Like that. <laughs> that, is the Lord. that is the Lord. So when it comes to authenticity, it's it will cost you time. It, it, it's going to cost you people. But people mm -hmm. will begin to ask you, who do you even think you have that you carry yourself like this? What do you do? What do you even think you have that you are feeling this way? They might not tell you before you but then say what does she even think she has does she even think she's tall does she thinks she's beautiful and yeah. you're going to lose people you probably would lose opportunities but there is one thing i always tell myself if i have to lose myself to get something it's not for me Honestly, yes if i have to lose who i am to get something it's not for me now there are exceptions to this particular statement let's say for instance i like jeans and shirts and maybe the occasion demands that i wear a corporate wear yes that is bendable it's just for a limited time to just be there imagine that you have to sleep with me to give me a job and my value system does not support premarital sex. It's not for me. That job is not for me. If that is the only criteria at which I will get that job, then it's automatically not for me. So when it comes to authenticity, you're going to pay the price of leaving out some opportunities because you will realize that it's too... It's too cheap. costly a price. Mm -hmm. Yes, for me, I think it's too cheap for me to afford. Like that's too cheap for who I am because I have a better. Mm -hmm. I have the also understanding that I'm. This light. I mean, it doesn't matter what. I'm a bulb light. I always know myself to be a very bright light. I believe that wherever I am, there's going to be illumination. People will learn new things. Life will be transformed. That's the understanding I have about myself. So, in whatever capacity I'm shining, I strongly believe in that capacity. I strongly believe in that light I can shine. So, when it comes to life, you're going to need out in opportunities because you realize that it's too low for who you are. You are royalty. You are a very bright light of the world. For you to come down and live that kind of life in order to get that thing that feels like... In the end, you realize that when you have it, you will feel miserable. So you don't yes. even need it. It's, it's not for you. Yes. It's not for you. So those are kind of opportunities I mean that you can miss out on. And you will lose out on people. People who don't understand you, they'll be like, what do you think you are? What do you think you have? Who do you even think you are? Is it not just a school that you just graduated? You don't even have masters. This is a room full of masters. This is a job for master, master degree holders and whatnot. Now, the reward is that you will have the life you need the life you've always imagined in your mind, you don't know it exists. And I'm giving I'm seeing myself as an instrument because I have this conversation around my own story. I told the career father against my dad, my siblings, everybody. When I was choosing it, they felt like I'm stupid. How can you be that smart and choosing this career? It's not like you failed, you have the opportunity to take over, blah, 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 blah. However, 
when I eventually manifested the person I want to become, the person I've always had in my mind, everybody mm. were like, how did you know you can do this? I mean, my students were asking me this question. The way they did was that, we grew together, we did this, they realized that this girl really knew, knew what she wanted and she got it. And this is even more magnificent than what we wanted for her. Mm. Mm. And I'm living the life I want, the life I've always wanted. And we have reconciled because we were not in good terms during those period. Everybody was feeling like you don't know what you want, you don't know what you what you are capable of. This I say I know, and this is what I want. So we became in harmony in a way that I don't want to use the word worship, but that's only what I have in my vocabulary at the moment. My siblings worship me, they feel I'm the best thing after sliced bread. Wow. So they, they love me. <laughs> yes, my siblings see me like, oh my God, Queen of England and whatnot. They just reverence me in that manner. And it's only because I stay true. I I pay the price of okay, let's go separate ways until I until eventually what I'm working on manifests. And you all begin to see a clearer picture. Because and I always make mention of this. When it comes to essence, living your true essence is not a conference call. Yes. It's a call for one. You are the only person that is called for that. And mm. most likely, you will be the only person that will understand that journey. Make peace with that. A lot of people will not understand they will not even agree. They most likely will not even join in the journey. But always remember, it is your call, not your call. And until you manifest it, just know that it's a lonely journey. Walk through it alone. You will meet the crowd. You will meet the people you need. But at the beginning stage, be very much willing to walk that path alone. And you may say, no, it's not my own. That thing is the story. See, the way people leave you in your journey, it used to happen like film, like movie. They will tell you, I'll be there with you. If you can die, if it rain, it shine, I will be there. And suddenly, there is a storm. You turn your back, nobody is there. Yes. No matter how you want to, no matter how you want to replace it, what you want to believe, this is the reality. The day you come to terms with it, you will try better with a stronger mind. So those are part of the price you pay. But the good thing is that the moment it begins to blossom, it gets clearer. You begin to manifest better. Everything you thought you lost will come to you in tenfold. Mm. It might even exist. Everything you felt like you lost relationship. You will be, you'll be seeing high profile people writing to you. Eh, I met you in so and so place. I would like us to collaborate. Let us be in UK and organize a conference. It's because you stayed true to your past. If you did not, yes. everybody will send you a message. Yes. So don't feel people are not seeing you. They are watching you. That thing you are doing, you think you are not doing it. Eh, it's just look up. No, no don't even think it. Eh? <laughs> just stay true yeah. to that part. Because that relationship, you think, you see those people you are writing to in their inbox, please, my life, your message is impacting me. Even me. I've seen so many people that wrote me a message years back. Your message is impacting me. And they are doing so well on social media. And I'm thinking God, I never brush them off. I never ignore them because they would have shown me pro check and pro mass because they have more followers. They are doing better. People are following them more. They are happening people and whatnot. For me, I'm <laughs> smiling because they're in their season. They should enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So that is one thing about life. And for them too, maybe there are people that ignore them at that stage of their life. Those people will be, they will be seeing their life, their comments on their post right now. And they will not be wondering, I didn't even I know, I didn't even I know I would have been happier with this person. I would have been in good terms. I would have replied that message. It's fast. That's why you should treat everyone right. And always be in, in the mindset that whatever you're passing through now, whoever that does not reply your DM, Whoever that is growing you, whoever that is not sharing you, whoever that is not adding you to the number of 
successful women, uh, creators of the year. <laughs> Someone asked me, uh, I think it was last two years or there, he said, they saw one big fly, everybody's photo was there, and my name was not there. I said, do you know where I'm going to appear next? Watch okay. out. And I feel like I'm bragging. Those things do not bother me. Like, all of those. Sometimes I am pushed to encourage whoever that compiled it. It's not easy for someone to see you and acknowledge you. I'll just comment. Sometimes I will not forget to share. Because I know that there is more. This is not all I can be. Like, there is more. The journey is far. We are still starting. These yes. accolades, we never reach. Like, this is not all that we can get. Thank you for seeing me, for appreciating me, but the journey is far. We have a long way to go. So, there is so much you can gain when you stay through to your path. Those are the things you will lose in the beginning. But trust me, you get it 10 times fold as time goes by. So whatever you desire, keep on desiring it. It's for you. That quality circle of friends you want is for you. That level of finances, people supporting your project and whatnot is for you. But the question is, are you ready to pay the price? Are you ready to be okay not to be seen? Not yes. to be heard. If you like you're yes. not hearing, they are hearing you, they are not commenting, yes. they are seeing you. Hello, let's let, let get to that point and suddenly see that they see you and they will acknowledge you. Just stay through to that part, pay the price, be okay with not having all the things you desire, and trust me, all of them will definitely come when you finally mm. win. That's your word. <laughs> I, had to, I, I had to start clapping first wow wow i think you saved the best for the last like mm. you literally did save the best for the last you know in Ibo land we say no ike rice na tokanalisi ike iti na tokanalisi that the bottom pot the sweet pass thank you my lady ah ah somebody Israel, you are burning the house down. That's exactly what I want. You know, Tamara, <laughs> also, um, you know, clapping. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mubag says so much. There is so much you can gain when you stay through to your path. Ah, the best for the last. Literally. Literally. Whew. Thank you. I, I, I could pick My pleasure. six things that stood out for me in what you said, but... You said something that was profound, that when you stay true to your essence, those things that you thought you lost will come back. Not just coming back, but coming back better than what you thought you had. Sorry. Um, those things that you lost will come back better than they were or than they were when you were desiring them or when you lost them. Those opportunities yes. you thought that you lost, you know, those 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 collaborations, those jobs, those partnerships that you thought that you lost because you were not giving it. Those doors that were shot at you, mm -hmm. shot in your face just because say you weren't going to compromise on your values, whatever that value is, um, they're going to come back because let me tell you this, somebody sent me, uh, I, I was in Calabar, um, and then somebody from an old friend of mine sent me a message. Oh, I see that you're, you're in Calabar. Can we meet up? I said, okay, we can meet up. So, and people are watching. Oh, goodness. People are watching. So, yes. he told me, I have been following you since. This is a senior friend of mine. I've been following you since you know you have remained consistent you are this you are that i said thank you very much and then he started making a certain request that even in the next word i'm not going to give in to when he talked and talked and talked and talked and talked and he saw that i was not bulging it was time to go guess what he said to me i would have been surprised if you gave if you said yes to this request but i knew that hmm. if we are the same thing as that I know you will continue to decline. When he said it, I froze. Like, I froze. I, in my mind, I said, what? 
So this was a test to see if I had lost my essence, if I would compromise on what I claim to be my values. And now this is a prominent person. This person will now mention me to people that are of importance because I was not giving in to the request to compromise on my essence, on my yes. values. So you never know when certain requests, certain opportunities will come as tests. And if you say, okay, just this time, let me compromise on what is true for me, you would be losing, you might be losing out. But even if you lose out totally, trust me, better opportunities are going to show up, are going to come knocking. Yes. And yes. that makes so much sense to you how you stayed true and how you remained. And, you know, you start reaping the values, um, the rewards of your labor. You start, all those sufferings will start making sense to you because, you know, you have paid your price. You've paid yes. your price. Thank you, my lady, for sharing all of those. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Those were very, 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 very profound. So to close this conversation i asked this to mr raymond the last time and i'm going to ask you that there was something there's something I'm, i learned from stephen bartlett's conversations his interviews and i'm going to start it with you so after this last question i'm going to ask you the final question okay and that would be what question would you like to ask the next guest you don't know who the oh. next guest is going to be so you're going to ask a general question that the next guest will answer. And when they are done with their conversation, they're going to leave a question also for the next guest. I know you didn't see this coming, but that is me. Chinaza is very spontaneous. Sorry for putting you on the spot. <laughs> All right. Um, let me ask. Looking ahead, are you with me, my lady? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can hear you now. Okay. So looking ahead, what legacy do you hope to leave behind as a result of staying true to your essence? Well, <laughs> basically, it's more like a cliche from the Bible, but I so love that particular statement and Ella worked with God <laughs> and Ella worked with God and when I when I say it, it's not just about oh she was talking about God she was living she was going to church I wanted to go beyond that I am a product of people modeling success and go getting for me like people like brian tracy um people like john maxwell people like miles morrow people like kenneth e again don't worry i don't know why they are all men but that's where i found myself <laughs> <laughs> they inspire me a lot as a matter of fact the first day i knew i was going to write the book was the day i read john maxwell's book the 15 laws of growth so in other words, I want to be a model. I don't want to be someone's template, but I want to model excellence in all aspects. I, I want to have a life that when I'm gone or even when I'm done with my assignment on earth, someone would tell my child, your mom modeled excellent parent and you had the best mom. And so I will tell my husband, I don't plan to die before him. <laughs> I don't, I don't plan. <laughs> so I will tell my husband, he, your wife modeled an amazing wife, an excellent wife. And you are so lucky to have married her. And so you I will tell my dad. Friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I strongly believe that God is an excellent God. Like everything he created are magnificent. They feel like this is the fullness of it all. And I want to be a model that it is possible to attain excellence in every area, spiritually, financially, marital-wise, 
um, friendship wise in every aspect of my life. Like people will say, oh, go, go and read about this person. You understand that this is possible. I mean, yes, it's not about the word excellent. It's possibility. Like it is possible. You can actually do this. You can be young and do this. You can be, you, you can be a black person and do this. You can actually be an evil person and do this. You can actually be you petite. You are not so tall, but you can achieve this. You're not so fair. You can be in this room. <laughs> so uh, that that is the kind of life the kind of legacy i want to leave behind i want to leave the legacy that anything is possible and it can be done well so. anything is possible and it can be done well yes. thank you oh my, my good lord my goodness guys if you are gaining value from this pre-conference session you can only imagine the value that you will gain at the physical conference like you can only imagine the people that we have lined up for the physical conference in lagos so to this end before i ask my guest the last question that before she leaves um a question for our next guest um, I want to talk about briefly the Essence Conference, Lagos. I'm excited for it. I don't know if you're excited because excited. <laughs> our speakers, our speakers, I'm not revealing our speakers yet. I am not revealing them. I'm only going to give you, um, I'm going, I'm only, we're only going to open up sales for the tickets. So you can start getting your tickets, you know, if you are interested in joining us physically at the Essence Conference League. So I'll just project this a little bit. Um, yes, this is the bulk ticket. First of all, we have the, sorry. We have this, the gold pass. So this is, um, you, you, if, if you pay for the gold pass, you get full access to the essence to the conference sessions and keynote presentations in person. You gain networking opportunities. You gain free conference materials, a free copy of Dear Young One, which will be launched that day. The second edition will be launched that day, and you know you'll be getting a free copy of that. You get priority sitting at the event and access this is the juice there you gain access to the exclusive essence boot camp that i will be hosting with mr gochuku Omogo the next day so how much is it just fifty thousand. if you if you've ever been to mr gochuku's events no if you've ever heard him speak you know that he's a man of substance and for you to attend any of his events you, you will not pay less than a thousand dollars but I have been able to get him to be a part of the Essence um, Boot Camp that will be held in June also after the Essence um, Conference. So if you want to be part of the Boot Camp, it is just 50,000 Naira. But the early bird um, price is for 5,000 Naira. Okay. And there, over here, is your payment details. Just pay into Gemspot Solutions. That is the account detail, Wema Bank, okay? When you're done, you send proof of payment to the number on your screen, all right? Um, which other one do we have here? I think I, I, I missed a particular... I think I missed a particular... Um, I, I missed a particular ticket. Anyway, you can see it here. The premium pass is 15,000 Naira. And for the premium pass, you gain access to the conference in person. You gain access, you get a free copy of Dear Young One. So everybody that's coming for the Essence Conference is getting a free copy of Dear Young One. Okay. Um, it is my letter. That's two letters. The first edition was 28 letters. And the second edition is... 32 letters to young people of the 21st century. Well, it's going to be, to be valid in the next century and the next generations to come because they are timeless yeah. 
conversations that I had with young people in the book. But if you pay, I'm not even talking about this book anywhere else. I'm talking about it for the first time here. It will be launched at the Essence Conference 2024 in Lagos. And woo, for being there, you will begin getting a free copy just for being there. So it is currently, the, the, the price is 15,000 Naira. But for you, um, if you pay 10,000 Naira, you can still gain access to. It is the early bird discount, which will be expiring on the 1st of May. So from now till May, you will still be able to get the ticket. All right. I really hope that you go for the um, gold tickets where you are able to join us for the um, Essence Bootcamp with Mr. Gochuku or Morgo. But whichever one you want to go for, those are the only two tickets that we have. We have a flat rate ticket and then the one that gives you access to the um, Bootcamp with Mr. Gochuku or Morgo. All right. And if you want to make payments, you want to start paying now that um here is sorry 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 something else is copying my screen here let me see okay okay we're good um if you want to start paying this is the account number to pay into okay just pay into gemxpert solutions or if you want to go to seller to pay um, to register this is where you go to buy the premium ticket and if you want to buy the gold ticket this is where you go to buy the gold ticket if you are not in the group you will not be gaining access to this we will only be only those who are in the pre-conference group will be giving access to buy all of this so if you've not registered look at the ticking banner under um at the bottom of your screen here and you will see where to register okay www.chinazafavor.com slash hold on one minute let me project it okay um don't mind me, this technology can be funny sometimes. Okay. Um, all right. There, if you've not registered, go here and register www.chinatravel.com slash preconference and you'll gain access to our WhatsApp group where it is happening, okay? That is it for um, the pre-conference, for the Essence um, conference happening in Lagos on the 1st of June, in case you're wondering when it is happening, on the 1st of June. So start saving up for your tickets. If you're paying right now, start paying. Um, you can always get in. That is where you get your gold ticket, and this is where you get your premium ticket. After this, after the session, we'll be posting more details in the group so that you get the early bird discount. Okay. So, my lady, um, before you go, what question will you leave for the next guest, for the next speaker? Okay. Thank you so much for having me. And if you are here, first of all, <laughs> anyone that is here or you know someone that, that will be here or you'll be joining, you'll be watching replay, please make sure you get a ticket. Like you cannot afford to miss this. You need to see this lined up speakers. They are handpicked quality. So this is not like, I'm not just making exaggerations. Of course, you know, China's a favor, do not, she don't do um, <laughs> basics. It's always premium or nothing. <laughs> luxury or nothing value or nothing so you should make sure you have your ticket and it's on discount you are seeing the 10 percent discount right it's going to go up by next month or thereabout so make sure you have your ticket and you know we the hall will be rented soon yes. if you've not gotten your ticket if it's filled up then you have we don't do overflow it's not a church service so nah, get your ticket 
<laughs> so get your ticket and make sure it's secured. Make sure your friend have done so, so you don't stay in the hall and only yourself get transformed. So for the question, I will ask the next guest speaker is which events changed your life? I mean, by, by events, do you mean conferences or happenings? Uh, I mean conferences. I know I know the conference that changed my life. And when I say changed my life, I don't mean your life was down the drain before. <laughs> I mean, like, what conference, what gathering, what most event? Impact, you mean? Yes, mm -hmm. the most impact. That's the word. So what, what was it like? Was it a word from the speaker or the, the whole event at large? So I would really love to hear from you, and I look forward to answers to that question. Okay, thank you so much, my lady. Before you go, I know you have a couple of books and a couple of trainings. Please, how do we get in contact with you? How, we, how do we get in touch with you? How do we get your programs, your books, and you know the services that you render? All right, thank you so much. Um, right now, we are still updating and upgrading the website, so you probably would not be getting a lot from the website at the moment. But if you want to get my books, I think I have some of it here. Uh, Purpose Discovery, um, Self Discovery Workbook, Be the CEO of the Emotions, and The Art of True Friendship and Ideation, which is not here yet. So any of it you want, you can just put a call to or send me with a message on WhatsApp. Uh, you can actually text me on Instagram or Facebook, Ella Obans, Ogochuku Obangude. So, whichever one you prefer, my WhatsApp number is 081 63 42 66 07. So, that's my business WhatsApp number. I will Please take it again. again yes, 081 63 42 66 07. 07. I'm projecting yes. that now. All right. Okay. So you can get across to my business WhatsApp line. I will respond as soon as I can. And if that will not be convenient for you, you can also text me on Instagram or Facebook. I'll be much obliged to respond. Of course, I do a monthly training on write and end like a pro effective communication made easy. So we are starting on Monday. A new cohort is starting on Monday. If you would want to join, I will give you, I will still allow you to pay the discount price, which is 10000 So you can still join us if you want to. I look forward to connect with you. I look forward to give you a satisfactory service. And thank you so much, people, for having me. It's such an honor. And I, I think I enjoy this conversation more than anyone else. It's such a privilege. <laughs> no, you did not enjoy, enjoy it more than I did. I'm sorry. Are we dragging it? <laughs> yes, we are dragging it, and I'm ready to drag it till tomorrow morning. I'm ready. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank to you. everyone listening, thank you for listening. You know, thank you for giving of yourself so unreservedly. I mean, you always do. You always do. Thank you for showing up powerfully. Thank you for sharing your deep thoughts with us. Um, please, if you gained anything in this from this session, I want to say it in the comments. I'm all, I'm all about giving people their flowers when they can get it, when they can appreciate it. So if you gained anything, like the comment section was on fire while you were talking, my lady. And um, you know, it's beautiful to see how many people are actually getting value from what you're saying. So if you actually did get something from here, I wanted to drop a comment, say something in the comments about our guests. You know, thank you very much for for showing up. Thank you for agreeing to do this with me, for having this conversation with me, for giving us the honor of your time. I am one person that honors time a lot. And you taking out an hour plus of your time, 90 minutes almost, of your time to be here with me and with us means a whole lot to me that you can imagine. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. If you want to... Hmm, you see that purpose discovery? Go and get it. Go and get it. Come back to take me later. When you're coming, don't forget to bring your tights, please. Well, that is for good. Bring my own chair. 
of what <laughs> Caesar. It should be Caesar what belongs to Caesar. <laughs> right. Thank you so much. It's such a privilege to be part of this transformation. Well done. And God bless you. I see Uchike Mara. Thank you, Cynthia Oluchi, and everyone following through. Thank you so much. Chuku Azot, Nemerem, Stanley. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so All much, right. my lady. I'll let you go right now. Do have a wonderful night's nice rest. I will. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. All right. Bye. Oh, before you go, please, someone said something here that I'd like to project for you to read. My first encounter with Ella Albans was at the 360 Youth Conference, my first ever conference, and she's nothing short of amazing. Thank you. Oh, she has already gone off, but thank God I read it before she did go off. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thank you so, so much for giving me your time. Because, I mean, if we come here and there is nobody who listens... I will still continue, but then it will be out of sheer willpower to complete what I've started. But you make this so engaging, so interactive. Thank you, thank you. Really, the comments, you know, um, affirmed to me that I made the right choice in picking our speakers. Our speaker next week. <laughs> our speaker next week. You don't want to miss this, his session. Okay, you don't want to miss his or her. Let me not give you a glimpse or... Uh, um, let, let, me not, let me not give you the agenda. Our speaker next week is somebody you want to really sit down and listen to. You know, I am excited for next week's session. And like I said earlier, get your tickets for the Essence Conference happening in Lagos um, this June, on the 1st of June. Okay, get your ticket. There was something I did not talk about here. If you are going for so i like people doing things together if you and your friends are coming for the essence conference lagos and you are up to a group of five you don't have to pay the full price for all the tickets okay we are giving you 10 percent off any of the tickets 10 percent off you see it here 10 percent off all the tickets so you don't have to buy oh let's say the fifteen thousand tickets um all together, if somebody is buying the 50,000 tickets or buying the 10,000 ticket or 15,000 ticket, the combination of all your tickets, we are going to take off 10% of the total um, registration fee for you and your group. Okay, that is going to save you a lot of money. At least you have money to you save money for transport. Do you get what I mean? Also, you can get the 45,000 Naira ticket, which is currently on, which is currently on 45,000 Naira, okay? You get this and you gain access to the Essence Bootcamp, exclusive Essence Bootcamp with Mr. Gochukwu Amogu. He'll be our trainer. He and I will be your trainers for the... So the Essence Conference is great, but the Essence Bootcamp is where we'll we'll do the hands-on training and um, practicals and you know sessions that are more tailored and personalized to your specific needs okay so get your ticket also if you cannot afford or if you don't want to go for the for five thousand ticket you have the ten thousand naira um ten thousand naira for now till first of may ticket to get all right that is it that is all for now thank you again for sticking with me for holding on for being here i really appreciate you and i do hope that you have a very, a very wonderful night's rest since the says thank you nazam thank you for being here for being interactive for sharing your thoughts for sharing your takeaways if you have not done this if you did not do this rewind and go and do it i forgot to say it while we are on Take a screenshot and share what you learned from this session, okay? It will help us to reach more people. It will help us to give other people more chances at living their true essence. You don't want to be the only one who gains value from these conversations, right? Again, your village will need to learn from this. Share on your WhatsApp, share on your Instagram, share on your Facebook. Let more people know about the essence pre-conference conversations, 
all right tomorrow we will be putting out proper details about the essence conference lagos you don't want to miss it plan to be there plan to be there one next just says thank you very much ella Oban. i really love your presentation and the values you shared we love ella Oban. hi rosie it's good to have you here thank you so much for showing up you're an amazing woman and i hope you always remember and happy mothering sunday yeah it's a special shout out to you happy mothering sunday i i, I know that you're an amazing mother Thank you for showing up for the kids. Um, she made an, an important point when she said, if, you, if I have to lo lose my value to get what I want or get what I need, then it is not for me. I think I remember what you're trying to say. Yes. Amazing. Um, who else is here? Thank you, Mam Naza. Thank you, Chukwazo. It's good to have you here. Charity says, thank you, Mam. Thank you, Charity, for being here too. Thank you, Lydia for being here. Thank you, Esther, for showing up. Of course, Ella's perspective on the matter we discussed tonight is absolutely amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Don't forget to share on your social media handles. That, we, that is where I'll be drawing the curtain for tonight. I hope to see you next week. Same time, same station. Thank you for coming to my... It's not tech talk now but thanks for coming on here and for joining me for this conversation i'll see you next week all right bye everyone if you are in the group please and please keep your eyes there we'll be sharing more details on how you can gain access to the um essence conference 2024 lagos edition um ticket okay if you have not registered please kindly go here www.chinazafo.com essence preconference to here these things be be doing the most sometimes if you have not registered go here and register so you can be in the group okay other offers that we have will be shared there by next week, we'll only be talking about the full offers, old discounts, okay? So go and register other services that will be shared, other discounts will be shared also in the group hosting you. It has been a tremendous honor hosting you. Um, Rosie says, Okay, I think I think Nigeria is beginning to happen to me right now. <laughs> Where is it? This is really beautiful. Can't wait for the physical conference. Thank you, Rosie. I hope to see you. I'll see you next week. Stay true to your essence because it matters. You. Matter.